Okay, well, that probably scared the crap out of me. What the blood freaks for? No. Uh, no. Two, three. Okay. Jeez. What? What the? Why? This is all like a freaking million of him. Oh, what? I can keep this up. Why? What? Dude, what kind of freaking story are you making? Come on! <sighs> oh jeez, I am running out of stamina. All oh, cars falling from the sky. Anything else? Anything else? No? Good. Run, Alan, run! You freaking crazy man! Oh, oh, what's this? Uh. E. Okay, I, I don't know what that was. Cl wait, what? Collectible thermals? What? Oh, jeez. Collectibles already? Yay, safe haven. I, I hope. That's it, game over, I win, okay. Thanks for watching this look. <laughs> Did the lighthouse go out? He's here. Who's here? Alan. Wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Yay! Great Falls. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where am I going? Do I get to talk to people? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hey old man. How Hello you there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Oh boy. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, Beth. If you don't mind me saying, I I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. No, no, I don't have pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. Okay. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Oh, boy. Ah, ha, ha, jeez. Are you? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Can I see? I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Oh. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. 
I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. <laughs> Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. What now? Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Oh boy. <laughs> leave the ferry. I don't want to leave the ferry yet. I want to go meet that deer. Can I just swim across? I think I want to swim across. Excuse me, guys. Time for me to not be able to jump. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. I don't wanna. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. Whoa, language. Well, and again. Oh. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Oh, boy. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Woo! It is open. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Oh boy. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Okay, so oh I see I see that I try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, okay. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't Do me it. a favor, Sonny! What? I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation! Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yoink, I'll just take that. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'll do yes. that. That's my favorite tune! Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. <laughs> it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Are you sure? That's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> oh, he seems to be having fun. Do you have anything to say? I know you were talking, and that, that guy just rudely interrupted us, so, uh, you got anything to say? No? No? I guess not. Okay. Is there any, any hidden collectibles over here? No. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think 
I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber Eager fans listen. always did. Uh, huh. Can I open this? No, it's not flashing. <laughs> Why is this place so dark? This is a horrible spot to go to use the washroom. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Who is that person? What? What? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Uh -huh. Who are you? Who is this person? Can, can I, like, get some, like, freaking, like, information pop-ups on the screen, like, right now? Just like, boop, 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 I'm boop, so boop. happy this could be arranged. Uh-huh. Can, can I... Can I, I want to knock on... No, I guess I can't. Can I go through here? Oh, nice, it makes a little <laughs> noise. Cool. Well then. I hope I didn't just, like, imagine those things. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Uh huh. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <coughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn, honey. It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. The nephew is going to explode. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, it's about time I left. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park. Oh, jeez. How oh, about the... Oh. Time. Hey, Mr. Rake. See you later. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, boy. Flashlights. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! What? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay, we can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. Nice secluded area away from everything else. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Why? Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. 
Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Well, okay. Get out of here, bird. You too, bird. You too, bird. Jeez, birds everywhere. Get out of here. Go, shoo. Go, go, go. 